Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Heather from DIY Crafty Creator and today we're going to do another how to draw video. Today I've decided to do a really pretty pink stargazer lily and I hope you'll join me for that. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button down below to get my videos and let's get started. Okay, so here's the materials we're going to need to get started. We need some watercolor paper, a pencil with an eraser, some um, watercolor brushes. I'm using numbers 0, 4, and 8. We also need paper towel, our watercolor palette, and some paint, and then our water cup to rinse, and then some colors. So I just want to show you the colors that I'm using today. I love this Daniel Smith Opera Pink. It's amazing. You're going to see why. And then I just use all sorts of greens from Imgrim, uh, from Daniel Smith. So, so first of all, I'm going to do an 8x8. Eight eight. So I happen to have kind of a little template I'm going to use. I did an 8x8 eight eight painting and cut it out. So I'm just going to use this from that. Just use my pencil to draw the lines of where I need to stay in. And there we go. So we'll keep in this area and go ahead and find yourself a photo, a photo reference for a really pretty Stargazer Lily. I'll show you the one that I'm using. And as you can see on the lily, there's two layers. So there's an upper layer that has the three petals. You can see, let me just show you. So the upper three petals here, one, two, three, and then the outer or the lower three petals, one, two, three, which are smaller. So I always start with these three petals and then I'm gonna draw in the second three after that. So choose one to start on and just kind of sketch it in. These petals curl around so there's no tip to them. They kind of curl in and so it ends that way. And in this bottom tip petal you can see where it curls around to the back. You want to make sure to add that in. So they're all pretty evenly spaced. And if you don't like a little part about your drawing, just use your eraser. Don't be hard on yourself. This is, you know, it's just the, the drawing part. So just kind of put it in there lightly. And then let's go ahead and draw those, those um, three petals that are behind. And keep in mind they're a little bit smaller, a little bit thinner. Okay, now let's draw in the stamen and pistols. When we watercolor this, we're just gonna make sure that we um, leave these areas open because they're lighter than the rest. And um, you wanna make sure to get these in because this is a you know, big part of the flower. Don't skip this. And there's also little green triangles. So look for shapes and things. It makes it easier to draw. There's shapes in in all the in everything. Okay, so get your your little pointy triangles in on all of these petals. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with this. And I'm gonna start painting. So make sure you get that nice and clean. I'm gonna start with my um, number four brush here. Wet it in the water. I'm going to use that really pretty Daniel Smith Opera Pink and Start, I'm going to start with the middle because when you look at the petal, there's a really dark line down the center. Kind of two lines. 
you look closely. Start with those. And then it just get some more water on your brush and kind of fade it out from there. Just like fade it out. We're going to do layers on this painting. So don't feel like you have to get it all in at once. Your watercolor dries a little lighter normally than, um, it look, than it shows up at first. So let's just kind of get, get it in there. Do all six petals this way. And once you have it wet also, you can kind of run the, the paint along like this. I'm going to call it an edge because it's like an edge. And just get the paint in there, darken it up. This is so nice about watercolor. I just love watercolors. I feel like it's really forgiving. Okay, so just keep do this on all six of your petals. Okay, so this is the first layer I want to put down. You want to make sure to let it dry. You can use a hair dryer, you can let it air dry. It doesn't take too long, it doesn't have to be completely, completely dry, but for the most part we want it a little more dry so that our paint doesn't um, run into each other. We like the base layer, so let's let this dry, we'll come back and apply a second layer. Okay, we're gonna start painting our second layer on and just go ahead and look at the picture. See, you know, where you feel like it needs more. I think definitely the petals need a little bit darker in the centers and there's not quite as much of a pronounced line right here. So I'm going to cover that a bit and make sure not to cover your um, your little spike of green there in the middle. Feel like you put too much paint somewhere and it's still wet you can um, dry your brush off use your brush to kind of pick up some of that color which is nice Okay, and again, we're gonna let this dry before we add any more. So go ahead and let this dry or use your uh, blow dryer and dry the paper. Okay, I wanna go ahead and start adding some dots and a little more depth to the petals. So I'm gonna grab some more color and I'm gonna kinda test my colors. I have this nice spot right outside of my you can see here, right outside of where I'm painting to test colors. Okay, and be sure to look at your reference photo. See kind of the way the dots are going. Some of them aren't just dots, they're kind of um, little ovals kind of going in the direction of the petal from the center out. Like so, try to get as realistic as possible here and start your little dots. And as I go, I'm also going to use a little bit of this color in the center to darken it up, bring it into the petal a little bit more.
Okay, so try to let that dry a little bit and we're gonna go right into the little pistols here. So get a nice like burnt orangey red color and mix if you need to. I'm always mixing up my colors and remember you can always do this in layers as well so if you're not super happy with the first color and by all means test your color you know do a little kind of test swatch there and i want a highlight in here so i'm gonna go back get clean off my brush get a little bit of water on it and pull some of that paint out it gives it a little highlight <clears throat> okay, so we're going to work on some greenery now too, and in the beginning I did not put any leaves on, so I'm going to go ahead and add some in now. And it's really nice to put next to the petals because um, if we go right up against that white, it really shows that the edge of the petal is white, so it's nice to do that. And these have some um, longer skinny leaves so we're going to add some of those in here to start with the pretty light kind of lime green in the centers. Make sure to leave that white on the edge of your petal right there. Don't paint over it. Just be real careful. Pay attention to where you're painting. Okay, let's start in these leaves on the background here. Okay. So, like I said, the lily has those white edges, those white. So what I'm gonna do is nice and we're using watercolor. I'm gonna take a light green. I'm gonna really put a lot of water in there and kind of wash it out. And then I'm gonna go along some of these edges and just kind of do a little color. Okay, so I'm super happy with how this came out. Um, feel free to do any little finishing touches. Don't forget to sign your painting. And that's it. Thanks so much everybody for watching my video. This was a really fun, pretty stargazer lily. Let me know what you think in the comments if you want to see any other specific flowers. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you hit the bell then you will get the notifications for my new videos. So thanks so much and we'll see you next time.